Thank you. Uh, we, we are privileged as a county to have hosted uh, the co-chair of Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Mr. Bill Gates, this morning. It's a trip they've arranged for uh, quite a while, and uh, their primary interest uh, for this visit were two areas, uh, primary health care, which includes uh, the facilities like this one in Kadonzweni, uh, for purposes of understanding the, the work that goes on here, at the lowest level, and then at the mother and care, to understand from the, how we have upgraded from the maternity here at level three to what we have in water. And therefore that is of high interest to them. There are many things that we made a presentation on. We made a presentation on an innovation we have started in all our facilities, including this one, which is called the commodity platform that tells us at the end of every day how many patients have been treated and the medicine that they have been dispensed with. It also gives us an opportunity to check uh, the, the, how their stocks are running out, but also gives us demographics of understanding the number of, whether the number of staff who are here are able to accommodate the sort of things that they are doing. One of the most uh, notable things, uh, partly the reason that Bill Gates came, was that this facility behind me, the maternity, has the highest number in terms of its level of um, birth in the county. And therefore, th that also interested in him to check between this facility and what happens at level, level four at Wote, uh, what exactly the, the upgrade and how that affects our work. So he was very interested in that and we made a serious presentation on our workers, our budgets to understand and he was at a very keen interest on what we call uh, in medical terms fill rate. He wanted to know how we cope with the problem of receiving only 50% of what we require from Kemsa and how we plug in the gaps. He also wanted to understand the workings of the CHVs, community health volunteers, but more importantly there is something we have piloted in Makwene which is very unique, that all these facilities are semi-autonomous. So that is why he had a serious presentation with the chair and a serious presentation with the community health volunteers to understand how they manage the resources that we give them to, so that then irrespective of the, of the shortfalls in revenue and the delays at national, these facilities can continue running uninterrupted. Those are some of the issues. But later, Bill Gates has gone to attend to a farm just close by from here of a lady called Mary who is doing smart agriculture and that also they have a huge interest and he will be speaking to uh, about climate change and, uh, f uh, and food security at the university so they have an interest in it and that's portion of uh, what we want to deal with. At a later date we want to make a, s a presentation on our food security and agriculture and value chain because they have given out yesterday uh, about 1.4 billion U, uh, US dollars towards climate change mitigation and agriculture and, and food security and we want to make a presentation as Makwene so that when the, the money is finally disbursed we can get a share of it. Those are some of the issues that we are discussing but for today their primary interest was PHC which is primary healthcare and we have managed to take them through this facility and I have appreciated the work that is going on through uh, the staffing that, that is here. Thank you.